Okay, I'm out in Duval and looking at a project for David Beal with Sherlock Self Storage. Uh, this is a new building he's getting put in right now here in Duval off of Main Street in Northeast 145th. Across the street, you've got the city of Duval Public Works. And I just went down, spoke to them. They printed off a copy of uh, scope of work out here. And it's to replace uh, what looks like a few concrete panels up here, some curb and gutter. And then uh, there'll be a restoration patch to do here. And then a three inch grind and overlay on this road. Um, I'm going to take you from this other side here so you can get a better idea of what this looks like from the picture that they gave. So, um, you get over here to the other side. Okay. Uh, so I'm looking at this right here and let's talk about the sidewalk panels. You've got one, two, three panels here need to be replaced. And this is right here at the crosswalk. So, You've got this panel, that panel, that panel here right at the crosswalk where the uh, um, truncated domes are. So this panel here, uh, it ramps up. you got curb and gutter here. So this ramps up. Then you've got two boxes here. And then you've got uh, this light pole. Let the work around. You can see there was cracking in this on these three panels. This panel needs to come out as well. So you've got 18 feet by eight to do these three panels here. This panel, that panel, and that panel. All right, so I'll try to talk loud, but in this uh, drawing here, if I can keep it to be straight, you got those three panels, and then we also got the curb and gutter that ramps down here that we'd have to take out, remove and replace. It says remove three damaged concrete sidewalk panels, saw cut curb line. But then, in the instructions on the opposite side, it says curb and cutter, curb and gutter to be saw cut and replaced. And then there's the three damaged sidewalk panels to be removed and replaced. And then you got a 20 foot wide, three inch grind and overlay to be provided to the center line, crown of the roadway. So that means, in this drawing here, I can get the wind to stop blowing. You've got from right at the truncated domes there, straight shot out to the road, which is uh, approximately 21 feet to the crown in the road. It's almost the center line. Uh, just comes short of the center line. So uh, you've got 21 feet by 20 feet, a three inch grind and overlay in this spot. So from this location right here, go out about 21 feet, 20 feet, come back, and that'd be a three inch grind and overlay. You've got two uh, six inch meters there. Then you've got, or lids, then you've got a sewer lid over there. Um, traffic control we would need to provide. They have a traffic control plan. So I don't believe we'd have to create a traffic control plan. Uh, if we do, then I'll have to add that on as a revision. But, um, so a three inch grind and overlay on this area here. Uh, this out here is what looks like to be thermoplastic or MMA. So I'll have to get clarification on this, but we'll probably have to get somebody to come in like uh, Jake out at top line, Jake Bateman. He could probably do this little four inch uh, MMA line. It's, it's one or the other. It's some sort of plastic, so I don't know if it's thermo or MMA, but it's one of the two. So we'll have to get a price for that to do 20 feet. And uh, out here, we won't touch it. We'll miss. It's just going to be right out here in this intersection here. Okay. So a three-inch grind and overlay. 20 feet of MMA fog line to put back. We've got 20 feet of curb and gutter to remove and replace and then we've got this 18 feet of sidewalk panels to take out and it ramps up right here as you can see it ramps 
So we'd saw cut right here, take this out, and take out these three panels. Oh, uh, these panels look like they're about six inches. Let me see what's on the back side here. Yeah, back side, sidewalk, almost looks like it's five inches on the sidewalk. But let's just say, for safety, or just to cover ourselves, let's say these are six inch panels. And then of course tapers down, so that's not a six inch panel there, but let's just figure six inches on these three concrete panels. Okay, staging. Trucks have been parking up there for the storage facility. So I know they've been using that. Um, I'll have to ask David if we could potentially use an area here with the city to park um, or stage trailer. Uh, we've got the center of the road here that I know we could probably use and uh, cone off. Because right now you can't do, you can't turn anywhere with that two-way left turn lane. And right now this is designed to just come down and and gradually turn in. So a couple, couple potential areas for staging. The gravel area in the center, two-way left turn lane there. And then you got the um, city here next door. Might be able to let us pull a trailer in there. Okay. That's it for now. Um, any other questions, let me know. Uh, as far as the permits go, we do not have to provide the permit. I think it's going to be David Beal who's going to provide the permits. We just need to provide the traffic control, the flagging, and, um, and of course the concrete and asphalt and a little bit of striping.